Okay. Um, hello, thank you for sitting down with me for this interview. Um, so the first question that I have for you, um, what's your name? I'm Matt. Um, what's your last name? Right. Okay. And uh, what's your date of birth? April 3rd, 61. Okay. And where were you born? Born in India. Okay, we are in India. In, in uh, Morari. Okay. Um, that's in Punjab? Yeah, Punjab. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you tell us the story of how you decided and why you decided to immigrate to Canada? Uh, my dad was uh, came back to Canada. He was born here in Canada in Chuinas, and so he came here sixty three. I didn't, didn't join him back in nineteen seventy. So the whole family came down. I was born in India. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you said your dad was born in Chuinas. Chuinas. Okay. Yeah. Okay, on the island here yeah. in British Columbia. Um, so before your so if your dad was born here, then I'm guessing your grandparents must have been here as well. Yeah, they were early ones around the nineteen oh six. And the one, my grandpa was uh, stayed here for many years, then got married, and then he got, and then, he, and then they had kids, seven kids, and they, there was recession, and then they took them all the kids to India back and raised them there. My grandma took them all back, so uh, so they stayed there for many years. Then slowly the family started coming back to Canada. Mm, okay. And then, then you know, my uncles came first, and then. then so on. Okay. And my so dad came 63 back here. Okay, so it was your um, grandpa that first arrived here in 1906? Yeah, around there, somewhere around there. Yeah. Okay, and then he invited his wife and his kids over? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so so when you came to um, here to Canada to join your dad, what year was that? Do you remember the date? Uh, April 3rd, uh, 1970. April 3rd, 1970? Yeah, no, uh, April 12th, 1970. Okay. So um, when you came here, did you come through um, through like a permanent residency, like sponsorship, or was it a visitor or like oh, a no, study permit? Permanent. Permanent. Yeah. Okay. Um, and can you tell us about your journey of how you got to Canada? Like, do you remember the airline that you were on, where your plane stopped, uh, all of that kind detail? Kind of a little bit, I just remember. Like, I think it like was when you left the job, when you take the train to the airport, how what how what was the journey like? Where what were your stops? A little bit. I can't remember. I think it was in Japan. I think we stayed there a night there, and and then with another family, and we came. Yeah. yeah. It was all right. I was just a little kind of different so much, and it just okay. it's the way advanced and all that, and we just didn't see anything like that in India. Yeah. I remember you know crossing. Sorry, can you speak a little louder? I can't remember like a heck of a lot, but you know, that eight, nine back is yeah. totally different. You know, the food and everything was just missed our Indian food when we were eating, coming back to you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, eating just breads and stuff like that and on the mm -hmm. way and it's meat and but not dolls or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So your plane flew from Bank um, sorry. I can't remember what the from... airline it was, but you know, all I know is Yeah. A little bit, not too much. Okay, so your plane flew from um, Delhi, Delhi to Tokyo? To, yeah, I think so, somewhere. And then Tokyo to where? Yeah, to uh, Vancouver. Okay, so Vancouver was like your port of entry? Like that was the first place where you arrived? Yeah. In Canada? Yeah. Okay. Um, and when you arrived in, um, in Vancouver, um, do you remember who came to the airport to pick you up? Yeah, I think it was my Thai and Thaya, and they picked us up, and then we went to uh, the island and then stayed there with them at Delhi County. Oh, okay. And then we came to Donald, and that's where our home was. And then okay. from there on, and okay. stayed here. Now we've been living here 47 years in the Golden Area. Okay. So when you say we, who was with you? It was you and your mom? And another brother. Okay. Your younger brother? Or yeah, older? younger brother. Okay. So it was the three of you? Yeah, two of you. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then when your um, Thaya and Thai, they picked you up, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so when you landed in Vancouver, do you remember what your, I, I, I know that you were, you said you were around eight around that time? Yeah, uh, eight but, or but, nine years old. Yeah, but do you remember like your first memory of, what's your earliest memory of Canada? Oh man, uh, that's just, I can't remember when they like, you know, what exactly happened at the airport and all that, but I remember, you know, what we were eating, I think our cereals were our favorite things though when we came, we loved that and, you know, I just, yeah, the other is she liked making rice and because she, she had cows and we had lots of lots of 
homemade, like like a Danes and stuff like that, and because they had a couple of animals and you know, your thighs. Yeah. Yeah. And get, and they had chickens and all that, and they had five acre farm and yeah. kind of had their own little thing going, growing and growing and raising stuff. Like, mm. Yeah. Okay. And then um, when, um, so how long did you stay with them before you found, I could, before you and your mom and your brother went to Donald? I think uh, I don't know, about a month or so. Okay. Yeah, I kind of got used and then they okay. We came, okay. We came on the bus down to here, they put us on the bus. Okay. And then, and then we. Okay. <laughs> and then, um, and then, and so then your dad was there to greet you and Donald? Yeah. Yeah. It's, to pick us up and they dropped us, the bus stopped on the highway like and then some couple other family, like dammy families and they picked us up from the you know, off the yeah. highway and that was where they made it stop for us to just a small little place. Yeah. Yeah. Um and then um do you, do you remember that time when your dad picked you up? Or uh, kinda not much. It just so long ago now, forty seven years ago I'm trying to think. Okay. It. Yeah. Okay. And um, from like your first like five years of that time period, do you remember like your first five years of life in Canada? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Like, were there any um, like difficulties that you had, like yeah. settling and uh, adapting to Canadian I think like, life? Like learning English and then you know slowly kind of understanding and just making a big adjustment. So I was thinking just. You know, that was the biggest thing. It took about a year, I think, and then we started to make friends, and it got better. Mm -hmm. And there was lots of Indians out there, so we got a lot of help. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, was, uh, it wasn't too bad. Like, it was good, friendly, lots of people, a lot of help from lots of friends. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, it was good that back then. It was lots of... Yeah. So, so other members of the Punjabi community, like, they would help they, well, the new um, Punjabi yeah, immigrants? Yeah, we helped one another a lot. And, you know, sat together a lot, like they, okay. they hung out together a lot of them. Yeah. 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 Where, yeah. When you say they, um, you helped each other, what, what, what do you mean by that? Well, like I say, if you didn't have a car back then, a lot of the families didn't have cars. They would take us from Donald and have a grocery store or banking, and I, then they would drive us to Golden, like my parents or anything, anybody, and they would, we would get grocery here, and then you know, they drive. So they help one, and kind of like, like a few families go together in one car, and then they, so that was kind of it was nice back then. Then people work together. Was, uh, okay. Yeah, that not too many cars back then. So only a few people drove, and then that's how we did it. Okay, were there? Do you remember? Do you recall if there were any like Punjabi grocery stores around, or no, any other the, the, resources that the, the like the people who of Punjabi descent would need? There was no Indian stores here. It was just the boys and that's it. Mm -hmm. But I think, yeah, I remember a little bit. I think one uh, Gauri was, they had a store. They were trying to bring some Indian. They did some, from somewhere, they did get some stuff. And I think people asked for it. Yeah. And then they did brought some dons and, you know, other stuff and mm -hmm. whatever we need, trying to help Indians out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nothing like now. It's just very okay. little choice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But they would get it from the big city, I think, they go to Vancouver, somewhere they would, you know, they got contacted and they got some stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and and because you were eight then, eight or nine, yeah. um, did you, st so then you started school in Donald? Yeah. Yeah, I, I went to school there for six years and then they came to Golden and then okay. so I went to high school and, yeah. Yeah. Did you, do you remember how how that first experience was for you enrolling in in school in Donald? Like yeah, I had to like start all. I was in grade three in India, and then I had to start all over again. I kind of had to go back, and then that's how they did it. And so I just got behind on school three years because mm -hmm. you know they have to start grade one and learn from there. And and it was kind of, you know, I was older, a lot older than the other kids. I was kind of, <laughs> I just kind of felt not comfortable because I was a lot taller than them. And, uh, mm -hmm. So that was uh, the worst part of it. It was, and everybody's looking at you, you're so, like you're, you know, the age made the big difference because you were not in the right class. 
Yeah. So that was not comfortable that way. Yeah. And, you know, I think that would be the worst part of it all was, but then, you know, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember um, the other kids in your class? Were they of Punjabi descent or were they yeah. of other ethnic backgrounds? They were mostly Punjabis. Yeah, the majority of them. Okay. I don't think they were pretty well, all of them were. Okay. Yeah. Was there anybody from like the um, like other communities, like the Aboriginal First Nations? Did you ever encounter anybody from that background? No, there was mostly the whites down there. Okay. There was no um, maybe one family, but not three. It was good. Yeah, mm -hmm. one native family. Okay, there was one native family that was living in, in Dong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, who were most of the other families? Were they Punjabi families or Gore families? It's Gore's and, and Punjabis. Okay. Yeah. Do you recall roughly how many Punjabi families there were? Uh, back at least uh, about 20 at least. I'm just rough uh, figure right off my head, but it could be. But most, a lot of the singles lived in like the, lived in the punk houses mm -hmm. and then Families like had uh, <coughs> married ones were you know like twenty least there elder had trailers and houses mm -hmm. or maybe even more but that's kind of a rough idea. Okay. Yeah, I think it could be more, but uh, that's but I think around 20, 25 families. Okay. At least. Um, and how long did you and your family live in Donald before you came to Golden? Uh, six years. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then, how was the experience of living in Golden? Was there oh, was, was there a much, large Punjabi community here, or it was much better because you can, you know, you can do more things here, and you know, everything was better than Donald and stores, and yeah, and then and everybody's moving from small to, from Donald to Golden, so and, you know, it was better like that way. And then I think it was it's the same people where it's kind of moved from there to here, and then mm -hmm. kind of. It was better because everybody's kind of moving out of there and got here together again. Mm -hmm. So it was better, yeah. The better life, everything was, you know, you can go see doctor, didn't have a doctor there. And then yeah. The more. Yeah. Yeah, it was better that way. The yeah. better everything. Yeah. Um, did the Punjabi community have like a Gordhawada or another place of um, like where they congregated during that time period? In like the no 70s? God. I no Gurdwara. Yeah. We used to gather in Donald there and um, just that um, Tamis family have a people have a thing there to get together there and have one so I think every kind of here and there. Yeah. And then uh, and then here in Golden we did little weddings mm -hmm. where we would bring you know did a few weddings where we had to bring you know view from a, a Kamloops or somewhere down there. Okay. And then we finally got a temple. Yeah. Closer to the 80s. Okay. And then lots of weddings in my year, so mm -hmm. back in 83, yeah, that's when I got married. And, uh, it's the most I think we ever had in the Golden. Uh, that was the record year. Yeah. Yeah, nine. Um, okay. So, so prior to like the creation of the um, Gordwara, where did families go to if they wanted to get married or? Have like a funeral or like another event at the Godawara? I think funerals, they went to, I think Kamloops, and that's uh, where they took them. And, and, and for weddings, they just did it here, and, but they was um, bring the, just kind of rented out a place, and when they um, bring the Maya, the Bili Taliani, then then do it, the Bible here, and do that. Okay. Um, are there other areas of the town that are um, significant to the Punjabi community in here in Golden? Like on the weekends and the holidays, like what did the Punjabi community do? Um, I think we just, on the holiday, we just kind of got together and, you know, just meet different families and different, just ran, make appointments and you come down my house and we'll come this week, you can add, or sometime even get together or one ladies would have a little party together, a whole bunch of them, and then invite one another, and, mm. and the guys would do, you know, get have their little party or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Yeah, and little gatherings like that. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of 
a lot of hanging out together, family. That's what we did in Golden. I think we just went to one another homes a lot back then. Then so now it's not it changed over the years, mm -hmm. but that's you know, we were all friends with one another and yeah. you know, we we're close knit friends. Like uh, you know, everybody was like lived together really good. Like it's not hung out like it good. It was good back then. It was like different than now and. You know, that sort of was our kind of fun thing, thing just being together and mm -hmm. it made time pass. It was better for like that time, sort of just, just uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, were, were there um, any uh, like um, Punjabi events or Indian events that the community would celebrate, like Vasaki or um, Diwali or other Indian holidays? Yeah, they did it in the temple here. Okay. You got to get, you once your temple was built, and they would have it every every year, kind of those things. Okay. Those dates. Okay. Um, since you arrived in um, Golden, and then well, Donald and Golden, have you lived anywhere else in in no. Canada? No. Well, in British here. Columbia. No. Okay. Um, and since you're arriving here for the first time in Canada, have you gone back to India? Yeah, twice. Okay. So the first time that you went back to India after arriving in Canada, how many years had passed? Uh, 12. 12 years? Yeah. Okay. Was that like, a, were you surprised by anything back home or? Yeah, I told me, like it's just changed over, like and I, it was 12 years after I came, you know, it was 82 and I came 70, so yeah, it's it's different. And like, I don't know, I thought the way I imagined first and then I go back, they're totally different. And, you know, I thought the homes were big and how small it looks to me and yeah. it, it dirty and all that and it just, this, this candle looks so much cleaner and then going back there, it's just totally different. Yeah. 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 So, so related to the question, if you had to describe yourself, like how you see yourself, I mean like in terms of like nationality and all that, what would you say you are? Like would you say you're Canadian, you're Sikh Canadian, you're Indo-Canadian? That's what, that's what you would say you are? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so we did talk about um, you growing up as a person of Punjabi descent and golden. Um, did you ever face any like discrimination or anything like that? Yeah, I did here and there. You know, like I remember going down town Vancouver, you know, we get people fingering us and didn't, like I didn't feel comfortable as a, it, that was a hard thing. It was just, I mean, people are doing that to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you know, we got a lot of that back then. It, it's changed over. It's got better and better now. It's, I think people mm -hmm. kind of adapted to us. And, you know, it's gotten more, see, you know, we mixed in now, and it's just, just it's not the same now. It's, it's a lot easier now, mm -hmm. I think, or yeah. it's better for, yeah. the candidate's gotten better that way. Yeah. They understand one, uh, you know, they like, this works out better now. Mm -hmm. Back then, no. They were mm -hmm. a lot harder to, you know, it's, I think it's just people didn't know, you know, what, they didn't, I think we spend more time together you now, they, so, yeah. so that's what makes it better, I think, because yeah. they hang out together and we all, schools and family come to mm -hmm. our events and stuff like that, and, you know, weddings and things like that, that make the, come to your house and we buy invite them and they, we go over their house and that's mm -hmm. I think the that's what the, made the big difference I think it's just people understand one another what we are and I think that's more knowledge they know they know and we have and they just worked it out better now mm -hmm. yeah. yeah well what are some of like the places where you worked where I worked yeah I worked in the sawmills and, and you know I worked a little bit about building a house and Work at the coast too, mm -hmm. you know. Work and uh, and picking berries, and I did that too way back. Yeah. So I've seen it all. Yeah. yeah. Was it where where all those workplaces like in different parts of the province or? Oh, it's it just in all in BC. Yeah. And then nothing in Alberta, like just in where our families were and close, to, you know. That's uh, yeah. The most all the years I just worked in gold. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, do you have anything else that you um, want to add to this interview about your experience of settling and immigrating to Canada, um, of growing up as a person of Punjabi descent that you think is significant to learning about the legacy of Punjabi Canadians here in British Columbia? I just, I just want you know, my, like my grandpas were the first ones to come over and they're the one made open the doors for everybody. I think that was the biggest, you know, it brought Indians to here and they made it easy. And they took all the, well, they, they took it, they had the hard time we are, it's easier for us now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they went through rough times. It's like my uncles got kidnapped and, and then, you know, they got, they got, they hide my uncle in a in the stove whenever the family was looking for him. So, so yes. Who, who took hid the your wrong, uncle? Pardon me. Who hid your uncle? Uh, good. Oh, I think that was natives. Yeah, yeah, it was not good. It was actually, natives. Natives had kidnapped him. They thought they thought it was this family's uh, kid. Was they took the wrong family, and then they realized, and then they released him, and mm. you know kept him for a couple of days, and then. Okay. And they let him off on a road somewhere, and he was starving for no food for two days. Okay. And then, where where was this? How much? I think it was. I think back in was in uh, Chiminas, and I think it's uh, around the 1930s somewhere there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay well, thank you very much for sitting down and um, sharing your story about um, growing up and. Well, immigrating here and then um, growing up as a person of um, Punjabi Canadian descent. Okay, thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you.